Hey guys, Brito here. Welcome back to Gold Rush the Game. Here we are back at the Nighthawk Claim. Season 2, Day 16. You mightn't have noticed we've got um, only an ounce of gold. 1.6 ounces. Our workers are still working away and getting more gold for us. Um, I did another clean out overnight. Um, I've gone through a whole other day, I think, and the next morning um, off camera. Just dug out a little bit more. I did try and get rid of some of our money, so I just brought a couple of other claims just to get rid of a bit of our money. Um, we'll go in and have a quick look. So we now own the old Arnold Parcel. Scratch my ear under my body headset. Um, Rivertown, we own that as well. Can't afford Pine Valley yet, but we own Nighthawk Valley as well. If we go over here, you'll see we have their 999.9 ounce gold bars. So they're worth over a million dollars each. So that's two million dollars sitting right there. So we get a good collection of gold bars. That's what the plan is going to be. So we're going to run back down here. So we've got everything set up ready to go. So what I've been doing off camera, which I think is a great idea for those of you who have the Frankensteins at the moment. Um, put this top this up while we're here. Not that it's going to matter. Um, you can see that this is empty. This Frankenstein is empty as well. And also our second Frankenstein is empty. You can see that 0%. So what I've been doing is filling this one up to 100%, running it all from that Frankenstein to this one, then running it from there into the hopper there, and then turning this one off once that gets full, and running this till that's 100%, then filling this up 100% with um, the excavator, and then turning everything on and getting everything running. That way we've got a lot less fuel usage. We're not wasting anywhere near as much fuel, so. Still got the dozer down here pushing away. I came over here and tried to get um, a level running surface to go from here all the way through to there, but um, as you can see, the dozer work is still a little bit of a pain in the butt, to be honest. Still couldn't get it quite level how I wanted it to be, so I will try and look at that off camera. Um, our loader is still sitting here doing nothing. I was going to try and use it this episode, but there's not really much we can do with it um, at the moment, unfortunately. I was going to try and dig this out and deliver it into a Frankenstein, which will deliver it into here, but I don't. Oh, I possibly could put a Frankenstein down here and do that, but it's going to be backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Um, let's give it a crack, why not? Try and skip through to find, there we go, a new Frankenstein. We'll bring him down, see if we can get this to work. I'm not sure how it's going to go because we have dug out a fair bit of the ground, so it's going to be challenging to get it down to where we want it to be with that little bit of a drop there, so we'll have to wait and see. How it goes. Be good if we can get it into place. It'll be awesome. That way we can use the front end loader this episode just to fill this up. We'll do what I said before. Just use all three of these. So that means we'll keep digging back because our excavator is at this certain height, um, and there's the hill behind it as well, as you can see, like off in the distance there, which we were digging before. So we're going to have to level that out as well before we um, bring the excavator down that far. We probably should have stopped there and got fuel, shouldn't we? We're not too far away, let's just back up a little bit. You can hear the machine running because we're so far away from it. Lower it right down. Should be far enough, I think, I hope. Yeah, sure, that'll be plenty far enough. Fill that up, so that's 100% as well. I've been using that to go and fill up all the Frankensteins. Because we can't go carrying this body thing around everywhere, can we? It doesn't take too long now we've got this big like the fuel container, I guess you call it. <laughs> Bit of fun with this thing before I... um. I had it up here somewhere and I think I took it off the truck and then hit it with the truck and it went rolling all the way down through into the claim all by itself and I was end up chasing it down the hill with the um, 
with the truck. I wish I had been recording that because it was actually pretty funny. Alright, let's try and get this bad boy into place. Not sure how it's going to go. We might have to go around the back of this um, dozer. I'll have to drop that down just to get that rear end up a little bit. There we go. So hopefully we're going to be able to get it up and in there okay. So those two are all lined up. It's a matter of lining this one up and getting that excavator bucket out of the way as well. So we could still, if we had two people, we could have somebody loading this Frankenstein with a loader at the back here, or a digger, whatever, and having someone loading that Frankenstein with a digger as well, and have us working backwards. I mean, that'll be ideal. Absolutely ideal, I reckon. But just, unfortunately, we can't do it. So this is what I'm concerned about, this drop here. I think I might um, swing that out of the way. I'm going to jump in front end loader. Move him out of the way. There we go. Let's get him over there out of the way. Hope it's not too steep a drop. Oh, it's like a big jump. Now nah, we got down there beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Alright. Now we need to get this lined up, which is always the hardest bloody part. So let me go forward. I want to. That as far down as we can. But now walk. Whoop, no. I want to walk forward through to here. Let's move this over there. But that's probably as close as we're going to be able to get. Okay, let's jump in our excavator here just so we can move the bucket out of the way. Oh, it must be hitting, yeah, we're hitting, some, yeah, looks like we're hitting the front of that. Fortunately, let's um, shut this down. Oops, jump out. Jump back into this. There we go. Hopefully we can extend it far enough we can. Awesome. So number four. Still shows it's going to go on the ground, but it shouldn't. Perfect, that's exactly where you want it to be. Now, let's have a look at the rear end. How's this going to be with the loader? Um, might be a bit of a challenge, actually. We'll jump in and have a look. Got me Xbox control um, fitted up, so I have no idea what the controls are. Oh, I've got to move these cords out of the way. You've got cords bloody everywhere at the moment. Okay, where's. Um, where's the start machine? There we go. Engine. Forward, backwards, um, park brake. Okay. Arm up, blade up, I think it's going to be a bit of a pain to be doing it this way, holy Jesus, H Christ, okay where did that go, um, okay, it reset. Oh, what a pain in the butt. That is a dead set pain in the butt. 
probably need it to be like over there somewhere. Okay, let's shut this down. Cycle through, we'll get back in that bloody thing. There we go. Um, start it up. Gonna need to walk it back down again now. Dead set pain. Let's see if we can. Walk it down this way. I don't know if it's, how it's going to like going over these humps up here, but we'll see. I really didn't think that would. Fuel's low. Yeah, that's fine. We've got enough to get us down there. That's all that matters. I really didn't think it was going to take off and reset like that. That's really weird. Never seen that happen before. Are we going to be able to get over these humps? Easy. Easy as. Or well, maybe not. It's going to be a bit of a struggle. Come on, it's not, not even hitting anything. Go, come on. I knew we shouldn't have come this way. Oh, looks like we're going to need another reset. Restore. And it restores us at the furthest possible point. Can we restore it again? No. Oh, yeah. We're not going to get much digging in this episode if we're going to have these many dramas. Our workers are still working away. I even thought about putting, trying to get the Frankenstein into there, dig that by hand and then load it into the dump truck or something. But it's probably a waste of time. I don't think there'd be much gold in there. Which thing would go about? This thing would go about 20 kilometers an hour. I'd be heaps happier. It's just a slow, slow walk. Hopefully this doesn't get reset again. Yeah, so that's the plan's going to be to sort of maybe work on this little back bit for now, and then we're going to have to come back with the excavator again. So we might as well do the back little bit while we've got enough room to still be able to get in there. Uh, that Frankenstein is on a very weird bloody angle, as you can see. It's got even less fuel now. It must be going through the juice like nothing else. It's really weird. Yeah, so we'll dig like, this little bit back there where the loader is, try and get rid of all this and then come back with the excavator again. I think we're definitely going to have to come in with a dozer as well and try and... Um, where the loader is now, push out a little bit. He's really struggling through here. As we come in through here, do the same as we did before. Rotate there and come in like a stunt man. Oh, and not get caught on everything. We are, we're caught on absolutely everything. Fuel tank is empty already. Jesus. Oh, wow. This episode's not going very well, is it? Where's our truck? I think it's right up the top somewhere, isn't it? Um, yeah, let's... We can't even... Quick travel to that. Let's just cycle through. There we go. Absolute pain in the butt. Obviously, choose a heap of diesel. Like it's just going through that so quick. Let's try and line this up. Oops. 
this is what I did last time, and then it absolutely took off like it's going to do again. Probably not quite as bad as it did last time. I chased it for ages last time. I was actually trying to do the same thing. Hook it up and I kept hitting it instead of hooking it up. There we go. Yeah, it's been a comedy of errors this episode so far. Can't go that way because the way the ground is. I have to go through here. Try not to go run into anything. Still got our light set up from night shift. Can we sneak through here? Yeah, there we go. Grab. Oh, the hose is always on the front. Uh, where are we? Start filling it up. Oh, let's jump in this guy. Trying to get out of the bloody way, but it's not working. Well, it doesn't reset again, that's the main thing. Come on, that'll probably do. If we can move. No. Oh, well. As I said, comedy of errors at the moment. Everything is going wrong. We should have set this up before you guys came into the episode, but I didn't really have this decided at the, that point in time. So let's get this guy up over here out of the way somewhere. Jump back in this guy, there we go. Oops. Gonna extend it as well. So we can't extend it yet, can we? Let's move. All the way down here somewhere. Hmm, how are we going to go with this? Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get it in at a decent angle. Let's come back down again. Um, kind of move over towards the digger a little bit. How's that? That's not too bad. Be much better. You can only try it, I guess. Number four, so that's lined up. Shut it down so it doesn't run out of fuel. Yeah, I think we should be okay. I mean, there's probably like a little bit of a drop there, but that's not too bad. Uh, let's jump back in, if we can get in there. Alright, let's start him up. Here we go. Arm up, blade up. Uh, park break. Uh, 
Ah, uh, where's our diff lock? There we go. Oop. Don't know how much of that we actually got in there then. I think that's actually the dirt we wanted, but anyway. Can we? Whoa. I think we need to get rid of the controls now. Keep moving forward. Come on, handbrake. Not sure how good this is actually going to be because, as you can see, I'm not very good at using the loader. That's probably why I haven't used it very much to be honest. I think that was too bad. Fuel's low on this thing too. Fuel's low on everything at the moment. I know they did um, adjust all the fuel and stuff, so that probably hasn't helped. Oh, we missed a fair bit there. We've got a little bit of a dip there that I think I dug in with the excavator. It's probably where we should be loading the dump truck, not conveyor belt. I'm not sure how successful we've really been, to be honest. Hopefully we don't make too much of a mess out of this. That was 38%, 8% we got out of that, which I think we usually get more than that if we get it all in, so I don't think we're quite getting it all in properly. We stopped too early then, way too early. Hopefully we can swing it from here. Not quite. We 
We're doing okay getting the buckets out of there. It's just trying to get it into the Frankenstein is the hardest part. So 49%, see how much we get in this time. Oop, auto save. Whoa, Jesus. Seriously? I think we should give up on this while we're still ahead. It is pretty silly how it does that. No wonder if we've lost all that dirt out of there now. It is a little bit of a pain, to be honest. Try and grab some dirt while we're here and... Fill in that spot. There we go. I'm going to get this thing out of the way. I think we'll give up on it for now. I just. No good at using the bloody thing. Shut it down. That's it. Um, half brakes on. Yep. On. Jump out. And stay there for now. Let's um, quickly cycle through. So we know that one's empty. Is that. Uh, we need to move that a little bit more. It's been bumped, of course. We go shut him down. Truck, we don't care about the truck. Don't care about the digger just yet, or the dump truck, or the drill, or the dozer, or the loader for that matter. That guy is still in the right spot. Has this guy still got dirt in it? It has, so that's probably the main thing. That we didn't lose all our dirt and stuff. Alright, let's do a little bit of digging before we end the episode, I think. I'm gonna try and use... Uh, what are we doing? That's it. Try and work out what the buttons are, because I haven't actually... Give me a little bit of time to work out what everything does. So that closes bucket, open bucket. Sure, if they're even. Yeah, they are. They're full buckets. We've still got a long way to dig, as you can see. Huge distance to dig to back to where we need to go and a lot of depth as well so it's going to take us a fair while you guys put in the comment section whether you want to see me come back and dig everything on camera would you like me just to you know dig a little bit and maybe just do like updates of where we are or you know you guys let me know what you want to see in the comment section there's no point in me um showing you guys everything i'm digging if it's not going to be beneficial to you guys or be entertaining or anything. It can be pretty boring. I'm sure this episode is probably pretty bloody boring to be honest. Me just failing at absolutely everything we tried so far. Definitely not as good in the loader as I am in the excavator but to be honest I haven't spent hardly any time in the, in the um, loader anyway so Not sure if you can change the controls either. Um, 
in the controller options. Like, I definitely would like to change the loader controls a little bit. These ones are pretty good actually. Use a left thumbstick to control the big boom up and down. And left and right, the right thumbstick you push left to close the bucket, right to open, and down to move the little arm in, and up to move the little arm out. And obviously it allows you to press more than just you know the two or three buttons at a time with your keyboard. Only lets you allows you to press a couple. This allows you to do everything you want to do in one big go, so it's actually pretty good. See, as I said, I'm pretty good at using the excavator, but it's just like comedy of errors trying to use that bloody loader. Hopeless at it. Not far off filling this one up already. Make sure everything's buckets are full. Don't be going taking half buckets and stuff. Oops, pressing the wrong button there. It's nearly full. I'll give it another full bucket. It doesn't matter. We're not in the best pay dirt anyway, so if we lose a little bit. It's not going to matter too much. There we go. So I'll quickly shut it down and go back to using the keyboard. Just because I'm probably much better running around with a bloody keyboard than I am with um, using the control. So what I do now is jump into this, start the conveyor up. So we're actually going to have to move it over again. We must have bumped it again. definitely bumped it. So what I'll do is I get that at 100% then I load it into here so here's 100% and then we push it on into here as well so we'll um, wait till the dirt starts flowing in. Oop. Conveyor controls so it should stay at the same level the whole time pretty much until um, it's full down here. Then once that's 100% we'll turn the belt off and then use the other conveyor again to make sure this one's 100% and then get the other Frankenstein 100% and then I'll run the wash plant and you, you get pretty much 50% gold out of it. So it's a pretty good way to actually get it through. If you had four of these lined up, if you knew you had um, the conveyor or the dump hopper here at 100% and four Frankensteins at 100% that will be a full clean out. Maybe once we get back to that back corner there we might end up getting those 100% but at the moment we definitely won't be. But I'd like to try and get a level pad here somewhere for these conveyors to sit on the Frankensteins. Because where they are at the moment, like this one's not too bad, but that one back there is, you can see it's on a really, really weird angle. We really should have it on a, a level pad somewhere. So at 66%, it's not too much longer, and then the hopper down here will be filled up. I'm not sure if 100% of a Frankenstein fills up the hopper 100%. I think it would. So a full Frankenstein should give you 20% gold in a clean out. Actually, yeah, it does actually it doesn't take a full Frankenstein load in there. Um, how far are we? We're nearly empty. 
So what's that at 18%? So it takes 82% or even probably a little bit less because there's a whole heap of dirt on the belt already. So, all right, we'll jump back in our digger and um, might have to go this way. Otherwise, we're going to fall down into the cut there for sure. Um, you can see I've pushed up here, so we're going to have to move the digger back down onto the flat here in a minute. Once we get to that certain point. Alright, oh, what's going on there? Is that us or is that the belt moving itself? I'm not 100% sure then. So fill this bad boy up again and then we'll transfer it across to the other one and then um, get this guy filled up again and run the wash plant. We should have 100% after that. Hopefully we can get it done pretty quick so the episode doesn't go too long. I guess if we didn't stuff up so much at the start, we probably would be probably finished by now if we just did this instead of trying to get that front end loader into action. It's just a machine that's pretty much a waste at this point in time for us. Continue to dig through here and hopefully get some decent gold. I think we're nearly at the spot now where um, the gold is actually pretty much gone completely. So you're running all this pay dirt through the plant at a loss pretty much. We go in and have a quick look, gold map. Toggle that square 391, which is what we're sitting on now. So uh, 392, there's pretty much nothing in them. Very, very little. So 392 is what we're digging now. So we're at the point where we're going to start running at a loss. Which it does matter a little bit, but um, considering we've got a lot of money, it doesn't really affect us too much. But We've got to put the dirt somewhere, so we might as well run it through the wash plant. There's not really anywhere else for us to put it. We've got to dig it out anyway, so there's no point in trying to stockpile bad pay dirt somewhere. You probably could put this at 100% and then just continue to try and fill it if you wanted to just get rid of the pay dirt because obviously it only fills to 100% so once it's full I think either the dirt will disappear or it should disappear but then again it might even get put on the ground I don't know you'd have to actually try it if you wanted to had pay dirt like this you just didn't want to didn't want to use We're still getting five or six percent buckets, so we're not doing too bad. If you're getting any less than five or six percent, you know you're not getting a full scoop of pay dirt in your bucket. I think we are just about at that time. We're going to need to move back. Once we get this filled to 100 percent, I think we'll um, move backwards which means we're going to have to move the Frankenstein again, which could be a little bit tricky, I think. Which our excavators definitely moves it's from us running into it with the other Frankenstein. Only four percent, so one more bucket should do. All right, there we go. 
try and get it square. I'm going to go back to using the keyboard because of course it's a lot easier for me to use the keyboard. There you go. Um, that should be pretty good I think. Go back to excavator controls and camera 4 of course. We can see what we're doing. Pretty much not getting anything. Um, I need to obviously come down and dig little bits out like this to start with. Another auto save. Alright, we'll put that there and then jump out. Put some I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to move that out of the way either. Running straight over it. Oh, that's what I didn't want to do. Let's try and get around it. There we go. Put that to there. What's the other end like? It's not far off, I don't think. I really need to be over a little bit. Hmm. I think if we Start the belt, shut it down, before we run out of fuel of course. Is that going to be an okay spot for us to continue to dig? Possibly will be. Yeah, that's going to be okay I think. can't dig for too long before we go back and check that other Frankenstein out. Just got to be very careful here that we don't go bumping the Frankenstein. We know what happens when you start bumping them. shut it down and go and have a look at this before we start putting too much in. Oh, it's only 73% but keep a close eye on it because it's not going to take long for it to, um, to fill up. Need to get an angle where we can actually see it. Just see 89% there. As soon as it hits 100, we'll shut it down. This is going to probably going to be a pretty long episode, but um, there you go. Oop, wrong button. 
Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. Bit of a laugh at me <laughs> at the start of the episode. Having an absolute bloody shocker with the, um, the loader and stuff. Shouldn't take too long to fill it now, hopefully. Slowly getting there. Well, as I said before, guys, let me know what you want me to do. Would you want me to see? You want to see everything, or just bits and pieces? You know, I'm more than happy to record absolutely everything I do in game. Or if you guys just sort of want to see maybe a little bit of digging like this, and then a clean out or something like that. Or you know, would you like to see a bit more dozer work, a little bit more drilling, maybe? go back and use a dump truck or a front end loader or you know you guys let me know what you want to see or would you prefer me just to um, dig a fair bit off camera and maybe come back when we're a little bit closer to um, our good pay dirt up the back there so we've made it a good progress like another couple of squares dug out but it's up to you guys I'd rather know what you guys want to see than um, just record absolutely everything and have you guys not be interested in watching it. Bit of a waste of time, I think. We're nearly full, 79%. Probably getting five percent a scoop at the moment, which isn't too bad. Should be another couple of buckets, hopefully. Only five, so one more bucket. There we go, 100%. Let's chuck the bucket over here on the ground where it should be. Shut him down. So now what we need to do is run up and start the wash plant. Do we need to do a little bit of dozer work? I think we're going to have to... What I've usually been doing, if we dig too deep, just come along and grab a little bit out of the wall and sort of it'll move across and fill these holes in. So. Hasn't been too bad. We can see it's not 100% level the whole way down, but it's not too bad a running surface anyway. Right, so we need to get the wash plant started first, and then um, start up each Frankenstein as well, and then we should be good to pretty much have a clean out. But we won't do the clean out on camera. I we'll, we might do it off camera, and um, or even the start of the next episode. Depending on what you guys want to see. Is that everything running? Should be. Alright, jump in this bad boy. Turn him on. Run down and jump in this one as well. Whoop, we can get up there. So it's all going in the right spot. It's like it's moved again. No, that's right. It's just the angle that it's fallen down, I think. It's like it's missing, but it's not. So we should get 100% in most stuff once it's all good to go. So these buckets have been 
knocked over. Probably by me. Everything's still increasing, so... It's really the main thing. Try and get a good angle for a good screenshot here. Something like that. I think we're up to episode 11, so... I know there's a lot of other guys I watch on um, YouTube playing Gold Rush are up to like episode 30 and 35, but they're recording absolutely everything and they're not as far in the game as we are, but we did get a lot of money back, so that's the reason why we're so far ahead, and we also bought this claim for a dollar, so... But for you guys, I thought it would be the best thing to do. You know, there's no point in staying at Old Arnold forever. We're better off um, trying to progress through as quick as we can. Let's see, we've missed a little bit here. I don't know if that's with a digger before or if that's with this guy missing, maybe. Still at 25%, so. Still a lot there. Um, to be refill. Whether we refilled or not. We did. We did refill that as well, I think. Not that we really need to use it because. Uh, as you guys seen, I suck at driving it anyway. No, we haven't refueled it, so we might do that while we're waiting for all this other stuff to go through. Not sure where the fill point actually is. It'll be at the back somewhere, or one of the sides. So stop around about there should be good. This up. It's not that side. This side, there we go. Oh, are you gonna let us put it on or not? There we go. Refuel it. We'll quickly run down while that's filling up and see. Yep, yeah, that Frankenstein's empty, so we don't want it running while it's empty. It's just a waste of fuel, waste of money. Jump in and shut him down. The other guy is still running. Still at 75%. Time to get back. It should be nearly full, I think. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. I'm not sure if I've showed you guys this before, but this is funny. Why do you even want to connect the fuel tank pistol to the fuel tank? So in other words, you just pump and fuel around around circles. <laughs> when I seen that the first time, I think I had a different message the first time I seen it, but yeah, it made me laugh for them to even actually put a message in. Uh, hopefully I'm not the only idiot that's tried to do it to see what would happen. Alright, come on, he's struggling a little bit. Oh. Slow down a bit, there we go, jump out. It does that sometimes, you pick it up and it just drops straight on the ground. Just a bit of a pain, is that still... Put dirt in it, it has. That's why it's a shame that um, you can't actually keep up with it. Force a habit, shutting everything down. I think we'll have to come around this side to refuel it. Yeah, it's right there somewhere. There you go. You still. Oh, it's pretty much still pumping it in there. How's this going? 80 odd percent. So that well, it might not work like that actually. It definitely did before. We went from 0% up to like 49%. So 
might need a bit more pay dirt through there to get 100%. The tank's empty, we thought it was going to be. How's this guy looking for fuel? Not too bad. Nearly empty though, so we'll need to top him up. Oh no. Can we grab it? There we go. Put him back. Oh no. It's nearly a huge disaster then. Let's head around here and we'll um, get this set up to refuel when it decides to get moving up the hill. And we'll check and see how much gold we've got in our mats and stuff and might not be ready for a clean out just yet. Might be 90% for we're lucky. Oh, 86 is so not too bad. We can still do a clean out now. It's not going to matter because we've got pretty poor dirt anyway. So, all right, we'll shut everything down. But we'll call it an episode there, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Hopefully, you got a bit of a giggle out of me stuffing up so much at the start. But um, if you like the episode, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment. It helps the channel out more than you guys will ever know. It's been Brito's Gaming. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.